Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. If you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, I'm a little out of breath and I'm congested, but I wanted to go ahead and film this video because I wanted to do a first impression and get, you know, smell it, everything with you on camera. I could still smell pretty good. So, I also wanted to mention you probably you this you're seeing you you're gonna be seeing a quite a few, I think maybe three haul videos, because that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I mean, so you're gonna see a few haul videos back to back, and then we'll move on to something else. But usually you don't see haul 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 videos on my channel. But I wanted to let you know I was trying out new companies that I that I've been one interested in and that's what I'm going to be talking about today and that is ancient cosmetics so y'all I have heard mostly about this company through Kayla Michelle and uh, Joanna McLeod Miss Joanna and I wanted to try the marshmallow line and it was sold out every time I, I went on the website so when I saw it was in stock I was like okay this is gonna be my time to try these items so i'm gonna make myself wait to smell the marshmallow last so i'm just gonna pull this out okay this is caramel butterscotch body oil and y'all this is dark honey i didn't think i you know it looks golden on the website and everything and i was like what is this because this was the first thing i saw in the box and it says these last for sort of six months i didn't realize it was six months i thought it was 12. oh lord okay so let's see how what does it have the scent no so oh my goodness this does smell like butterscotch candy with caramel Ooh. Oh yes, that smells good. Okay. So if you like caramel scents, oh my goodness, this smells so 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 good. Okay, caramel butterscotch. Okay. Okay, oh no, that's toasted marshmallow. We're gonna wait because y'all know. So I also I've been into body oils, okay, y'all. And since these got to be used up in six months, I guess we're going to be focusing on these the most. So this is the Even Skin Healthy Glow Body Oil. This is supposed to help with discoloration. It's supposed to just, you know, make your skin glowy. So I was like, I'm going to give this one a try. Okay, so this one just kind of has that basic oil scent. You know, it's not, I don't think it's not supposed to be fun and smell, you know, like caramel and marshmallow and all that. Because this kind of smells like, you know, that Neutrogena oil. Yeah, that's what it smells like. So, it's not a bad scent, but, you know, it's not one I would think for layering. This is more for treatment. This is a treatment body oil. And I'm excited to see how it works. Okay. The last body oil, because I'm not going to open any other marshmallow stuff, I'm saving that for last. So the last body oil we're gonna, I bought was the Sugar Rush. And this is supposed to smell like cotton candy, sweet cotton candy. So let's see. I mean, it does have like a sweet candy scent. I thought it'd be a little stronger or it might be my nose and it feels like I'm picking up cherry in this but it is nice it is nice but it's light um this one is like boom in your face and this is toned down you know but I'm excited for all of them Okay, that's marshmallow, so we're gonna wait. Okay, so this is 
a body scrub that I got for free from them because you know I'm not trying to get any body scrubs but I'm not gonna turn down none for free so this was the caramel butterscotch body scrub and I think no I was wondering if they have the scent notes on here but it doesn't so is this open but maybe yeah Okay, so the oil smells a little more potent than the scrub. And the scrub, probably because it's a sugar scrub, um, I'm getting like a sugary take. This smells more like a cookie to me, whereas the body oil smells more like pure caramel with a touch of that butterscotch candy. But it is good. I mean, I was getting these thinking of fall. And I've been wanting to try this forever. And I was just waiting on marshmallow to get in stock. Waiting on marshmallow to get in stock. Okay, so what was the other one? Did I get this for free or did I order this? I think I ordered this. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Caramel Butterscotch Body Butter. How long does this last? Okay, so... The body butter lasts 12 months, the body oils all last six months, and the scrub lasts six months. I, don't, I can't remember if I held this up for y'all. So there it is. So let's smell the body butter. Ooh, it looks very whipped and creamy. Okay, so the body butter is light again, like the scrub. But I, it's like I'm getting an undertone of the caramel butterscotch. And it's sweet and caramel candy, but it's still not as strong as the body oil. But we'll see. We'll see. How many ounces is this? Well, y'all, I don't see how many ounces it is on here. I want to say six or eight, but I can't find it on here. And it does tell you the batch numbers on uh, the back of the sticker where it tells you when it expires, how long it lasts. So that's nice. Maybe you can look that up somewhere. I don't know. But it's always nice to know. Okay, y'all. So wait a minute. So I did pick up one bath bomb because I needed to reach a certain amount to get um, free shipping. And this is the Watch Me Blossom bath bomb. I can't really smell it through here, but we'll see how I like that. Okay, so now the marshmallow. Okay. So this is the Toasted Marshmallow Body Oil. I have been waiting to smell this as I've heard about it. Y'all, I did something to my thumb and it's hurting to try to open this. Okay. Now this one has a seal. Did the other ones? Yeah, maybe it just got stuck when I pulled it off. Uh-uh, y'all. Wait a minute. <sighs> okay, this had five stars on the Ancient Cosmetic website. But to me, this doesn't taste like marshmallow. This tastes like, I mean, it tastes. To me, this doesn't smell like marshmallow. It smells like milk. Like a sweet sugary milk but it doesn't smell like a marshmallow y'all okay so i'm gonna have to try this out maybe let it sit not for too long because it only last six months um let's try the spray so this is the only only one i got a body mist in because it's marshmallow i did want the the body mist in the caramel butterscotch but it was sold out so this lasts 12 months also do y'all want to spray it out on paper? Let's spray it out on paper. Maybe it'll, it'll smell differently than just, you know, sticking my nose in there. So let's spray it out on paper and see what I think. Okay. This, this came out like it's a hair product. Okay, hold on. 
Y'all, I'm getting nervous about this marshmallow. I've been waiting to smell this at marshmallow for over a year. I mean, I can't bear. Let me this sprays. I don't like the way this sprays out for one thing. This sprays out like it should be a doggone body oil or something. I'm not getting much scent. It's like I have to hunt for it. And then when I find it, I'm not loving what I find. I mean, yeah, this is like nothing. I'm barely getting any scent. And it's so faint. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in that. Okay, so this is the toasted marshmallow body butter. So let's see how the body butter smells. I mean, yeah, it's it's like the faintest, barest hint of like, I would say milk marshmallow. But granted, keep in mind, this is, I haven't worn this. Well, I did spray that little bit on my hand, but that's not, you know, layering and wearing it. So, I don't know. And then this is the marshmallow body scrub. I went all in. I bought everything in the marshmallow line because I've been waiting forever and a day. Yeah, I can't believe this gets five stars. Like I said, maybe I just need to use it. Or sometimes I know with these, okay, now I'm getting a little hint of it. I know sometimes with these companies, the smaller businesses, with handmade products, sometimes you have to let them sit. But these products expire in six months, the majority of everything I, I purchase. So I can't be letting it sit too long or, you know, I'll be, have wasted my money. You know, we are not about that life, okay? So I smell the marshmallow, what's this called? Toasted marshmallow body mist again. Yeah, y'all, it's like nothing. Hardly anything. So, <sighs> okay. So, let me rank the, the, the scent. I mean, I got three different scents. I got, I'm not even counting the even skin healthy glow because I didn't feel like it was going to have a fragrance. So I got toasted marshmallow, caramel butterscotch, and sugar rush. So coming in at number three is toasted marshmallow in the body oil because I can, what I smell, I'm not liking. And from the body oil, I'm getting like sweet milk. Ugh. And so the number two is sugar rush. Now, I do like the way this smells. And number one, this smells delicious. It's caramel butterscotch. So that's the body oils. And basically, you can say caramel butterscotch beat out everything because I got toasted marshmallow and caramel butterscotch in the majority of everything. So, because I was thinking fall, winter, seasonal. So, yeah, um, I am not impressed with this toasted marshmallow at all. I'm always searching and looking for something to give me my boardwalk marshmallow cloud. I'm always looking for something to give me that light but potent, fluffy, airy, sweet, marshmallowy vanilla scent. And I have not found it yeah they need to bring those two back bath and body works because you know what let me smell this straight from the from the container and see if i yeah 
it's like a sweet milk. I'm not, I don't pick up much marshmallow. And the scent is so faint. I mean, the scent is, is faint in this, but at least I can, this is where I can smell it the most. And this out of the marshmallow products from the scent alone, the one I'm um, liking is the toasted marshmallow body butter because the scrub hardly smells like anything and the mist hardly smells like anything and the oil I'm getting milk. I'm not getting marshmallows. So <sighs> y'all I'm about to stop trying to get these marshmallow products because nothing is coming close to my boardwalk marshmallow clouds. I, it's just nothing coming close to it. Um, with, with body care. People could do vanillas, vanilla after vanilla, but you have to search to the ends of the earth to try to find a good marshmallow, just marshmallowy vanilla scent. And I am disappointed with this product right now. I am very disappointed in the toasted marshmallow. <sighs> Cause that's the one I've been wanting and, and wishing and living on a prayer that was gonna be so, so good. And it's basically nothing. Because let's say if I was, if, let's say I got out, I took a shower and then I got out, I will in the shower, I use a scrub. Then I got out and put on the uh, body butter oil and this mist. I really don't think anybody be able to really smell me based on what I'm smelling now. It's not potent at all. It's like you, I'm smelling my hand and it's like, I know I sprayed something. So I feel like I'm smelling something, but I can, it's barely there. That That's what I'm getting. So I will have to update you all on these products. Um, and uh, some, I'll, I'll do it. I just don't know when I'm going to do it. But first impressions are... The oil, the sugar rush, and the caramel, especially the caramel butterscotch, smell great. Um, the caramel butterscotch products, let me remind myself about this body butter. And you know what this reminds me of? Tree Hut had a body butter. You know, I remember as a teenager, I wasn't into the Tree Hut scrubs. I was into the body butters. And they had like a... I, it was, I can't remember the scent, but it was like a, a, a nut kind of body butter. And that's kind of what this is reminding me of, the Karma Butterscotch. And I love that one. So I'm, I'm not disappointed in the entire order. I'm just really disappointed and in my feelings about this toasted marshmallow because I just want some good marshmallow products. And honey, they not easy to come by, okay? And y'all, I just, I was cleaning up from, you know, the haul. And I just wanted to mention this. Okay, if you haven't seen my Sugar Milk Co. unboxing video, I will link it above. Check it out. I just wanted to mention the difference. When I got finished, you know, unboxing and trying those, I was excited to go back to the company and and you know see what else is out there because i was so impressed this is not make this asian cosmetics haul is not making me do that it's making me say okay let me use these products and then see if they're gonna get any more of my money <laughs> because that toasted marshmallow hurt me to my heart hurt me to my heart but i just wanted to mention that because i i can't remember if i you know, said my thoughts because it is a first impression, but I did want to mention, sometimes first impressions make you go, wow, yeah, I want to try this, I want to try that. And then sometimes they're like this, now let me see how this how this turns out, boo-boo, before you get into more of my money. And that is how I feel with Asian Cosmetics. I'm not saying they're a bad company because I haven't used these products. I'm just going off of what I initially smell and I'm giving my initial thoughts. But I did want to mention, as of right now, it's not making me want to go try more products because the main product I was, you know, wanting so badly so far, 
I keep smelling my hand in such a, where I sprayed that mist in such disappointment. So I just wanted to mention that in case people are like, well, what do you think? Do you want to? I'm not about to go order anything from Asia Cosmetics until I use some of these products. Now, I already got my order planned from Sugar Coat, and I've only used like one, one oil. <laughs> I, already, I already know I got to get some more stuff. So, I just wanted to show you the difference in my reactions with the companies. Um, not downing Asia Cosmetics at all. I'm not, but... I did want to mention it it doesn't make me and another thing y'all it took almost two weeks for this to get here which they tell you it's supposed to take two weeks it might take two weeks and it did but that's another drawback for me and you have to pay you know quite a bit to get free shipping which I understand it's a small company so you have to I think it was 75 or 85 dollars to get free shipping they did throw in a free gift which was nice but it did take two weeks for my package to get here. And then I'm just, and one whole set I purchased is basically, to my nose, practically fragrance free. That That's how I'm feeling about this toasted marshmallow. So yeah, y'all, I just was thinking about that as I was cleaning up. I said, I gotta expound on this some more. Um, because I just don't know, but I will keep y'all updated if my mind changes. So y'all, if you enjoyed this unboxing video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me, have you tried ancient cosmetics? If you have, tell me what y'all think about toasted marshmallow. Am I being too harsh? Is, is, you know, I, do you smell something? <laughs> I just want to know. And tell me some marshmallow products, y'all. Because this is getting ridiculous. I just can't keep spending money and getting products and I'm not loving them. It doesn't happen often, but I feel like th this time it happened with this toasted marshmallow. So y'all just let me know. Please share this video with everyone who enjoys trying new companies new products because it is fun and maybe you know after I use them my opinion will change hopefully and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as I always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye